Hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel. I wanted to go over some big news that just came out today about a topic that we've covered on this channel. And I'm talking about diesel engines and more importantly the fuel pump that was used on these diesel engines by GM with Duramax, Ford with their Power Stroke, and Ram with their Cummins. All used these CP4 fuel pumps that tended to fail. I've heard stories that they fail somewhere as low as 7,000 miles. Sometimes it takes 70, 80, 100,000 miles. But the issue is it causes significant damage once it goes bad. Upwards of over $10,000 because shavings get put into the fuel system, the injectors, and it's very expensive work. And up until now, I've heard that a lot of the auto companies weren't wanting to warranty this because it is very expensive. I've had people on my videos say they had a Ford at 28,000 miles, they had a war it was still under warranty, they had even an extended warranty, and it was a $10,000 repair, and they said that Ford would was fighting them and would not pay a penny on it. And I've heard other people say they want to blame it on improper fuel, improper use, yada yada. They don't want to make good on it on warranty claim. So let me share this article. i just read a line or two from it. This is from CNET. I'll put the link down below. And it says, Ram announces Cummins diesel fuel pump recall for 222,000 trucks. And it covers... 2500, 3500 series heavy duty pickups, as well as 35, 45, and 5500 cab chassis models powered by Cummins diesels. So it basically stems from the CP4, this high pressure pump injector diesel fuel pump that Ram only used for 2019 and 2020. So only two years and you got about a quarter million vehicles affected. Now Ford used that pump for longer. And it's just interesting to me that both Duramax and Cummins, Cummins went back to the CP3, which had no issues. And Duramax went to a different brand, but they all must have known that this is an issue and it's interesting to me that Ford didn't really make a switch as far as going to a different provider, a different model. I understand that they did some internal stuff to do a CP4 too, but it's yet to be seen, you know, if that fixed the issue or not. But what about all those other people that were affected? Come on. Ford. I mean, really. This recall came about after Ram engineers noticed an increase in warranty claims for the issue. That led to an internal investigation and now a voluntary recall. It says the problem stems from a defect in the pump's construction that leads to premature wear, which in turn leads to metal shavings entering the Cummins engine's highly sensitive fuel system. This can cause the vehicle's engine to stall and simply not to start. And like I say, it's a very costly repair that a lot of times the manufacturers don't want to do under the warranty. So props and a shout out to the people over at Ram Trucks that are voluntarily for the two years that they use the bad pumps, they are going to make it right by their users. That is so cool to me. But it also begs the question, what about the Duramax models that had it? What about the Ford models that had it? You know, there's a lot of those trucks on the road right now. I don't know what they're going to do. I'll let you know if more information comes out about it. But this just came out today and I wanted to be the first to share it around. And it's nice sometimes to share some good news. It's nice to know that there is a business out there that is trying to do right. So my hat is off to the people over at Ram Trucks. And I have made a decision about which truck I'm going to buy. But you guessed it. It's a cliffhanger, right? That's coming out on the next video. The truck has been ordered. I'll fill you in on the color, the make, the model, and all that good stuff. 
on the next video. I hope you found this video informative. At least those people that had affected vehicles, you can go online, you can see more information about it. And as always, I appreciate you guys that stopped by. It means so much. Until next time, we'll see you.